it is Friday and that is always a great day and uh, we're going to be doing something exciting this week. If you missed the message I left in the community tab of our channel or on social media, on Twitter or Instagram or Facebook, we are at Disney World right now while you're watching this. If you're watching it the day it comes out, we've already been here a couple of days by now. Um, so we are now going to be packing, just generally getting ready. Uh, this is our weekend trip, trip prep weekend. Um, we also usually try to cook up a few things in advance before we go out of town. And what's really cool is we're going to Walt Disney World for a week, but then we also have an exciting trip Memorial Day weekend, which um, we'll again announce on social media. We have decided to not do the sort of trip announcement vlogs anymore. Um, so now YouTube has this community tab where we can announce things. So since it's a simple announcement and not just a vlog, we're going to put that in the community tab. And if you're subscribed, you will get that. So be sure to subscribe and also hit the bell and you should get any notifications there from us. So we hope you're following along with us on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be posting mostly to Instagram, a little bit on Twitter, probably not much to Facebook. So the best places are Instagram and Twitter to follow us. Um, this evening, I may or may not do some cooking. I haven't cited, uh, but definitely tomorrow. Also tomorrow I'm getting my hair highlighted and cut and all that good stuff and mass amounts of packing is going to happen. Um, I, I think you guys know me by now, I'm a terrible slow packer. Um, I have lists, I check them twice, <laughs> I'm just really really bad at packing. I mean when I get there I have everything so that's the good part but I am a slow slow packer uh, so that'll probably consume a lot of the weekend for me. First thing I made is this breakfast hash. This is one of those things I batch cook and freeze. It's ground turkey, sage, black pepper. I cook that in one pan. I saute mushrooms and green onions in another pan. And then everything else you see comes out of this bag I get from Whole Foods. It's organic sort of root vegetables. There's carrots, parsnips, sorry, not par you know it is parsnips, red onion, and uh, sweet potato. And I just roast that in the oven 20 minutes at 375. So this is super easy, um, other than this 20 minutes of baking and I have to chop one green pepper because the mushrooms are already chopped, that's the only work. So this is like the easiest recipe ever and it's really delicious, makes a great breakfast. I'm now making those egg muffins you saw me make last week or the week before. Um, super easy, you just, uh, I will line this with muffin, pan uh, muffin liners, you just saute some kind of vegetables, whatever you like. I'm doing mushrooms and spinach this time. Last time I did peppers and onions. And then you scramble a dozen eggs and it makes 12 muffins. And they're, they reheat really well. I freeze them and then let them thaw in the refrigerator like a couple of days in advance. And then just heat them in the microwave very briefly and they're very tasty. Here are the muffins. Put them out on a plate so they would cool faster before I freeze them. Um, they turn out great. I think I ever filled them like a hair, but they didn't stick to the pan, so I consider that a win. And I know after 20 minutes the egg on top doesn't look set, but it is. It's totally set. It just for some reason, sorry for the steam fog there, for some reason it looks like it's still raw, but it's not. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I'm so glad I got that cooking done yesterday because it is going to be a busy, busy day today. I need to pack. And most importantly, the reason you see me with my bed head, this is how my hair looks when I wake up in the morning. I am going to get highlights this morning, a cut, and today I'm getting full highlights. Um, if you don't get highlights, you can either get crown highlights or you can get full, which means your entire head. I never get the full except once a year or sometimes even longer than that because the rest doesn't really show, but at some point it just gets so dark on the underside um, I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, there. Um, that it's like, a, it's almost like a solid stripe. Like it becomes so dramatic. It's like a stripe, like especially if I pull my hair back and I don't like that. Um, so it's reached that point where I don't like it. And so I'm going to have all of it done. That takes forever. I'll be gone in like three hours. So I will see you guys in a while. I am back from getting my hair done. So as you can see, no more roots. And also the dark underside is now less dramatic, which is what I wanted. Um, so she did an awesome job as always. Great job. And now we are going to finally play. I don't know if you guys remember from our last week, we've talked about this game that had been set for like three weeks and we never played it. 
it sat out here for so long we had to move it and it got messed up and Brian had to set it up again but we're gonna play it today finally it's Villages of Valeria. I think you guys have actually seen us play this before probably more than once we like this game it's this just is now with a couple fun. expansions added there it's new oh cool yeah. Yeah, so I'll mix it up a little bit, but this is always fun. It's basically a deck builder, but there's a lot to it. It's, it's got a lot going on. Here's what it looks like at the end. Lots of time has passed. Looks like mass chaos here. Yeah, and you're looking at the winner. The winner, finally, I win one. I don't know how many <laughs> times this one over here has won, and I finally won a game, and she actually gave me a little grief on it. <laughs> <laughs> I have to give him grief. <laughs> it was a good game, though. I yeah, really it was a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I like the expansion. So expansions added all this little bit, and I really enjoyed that. It made it different. And so it begins. I expect this will take me probably time over the next two days. Um, also, I got this new carry-on bag. I had a carry-on bag, and I still have it, but it did not have these spinner wheels. It only is the kind you tilt and roll. I actually prefer these spinner wheels a whole lot where you don't have to tilt it. Uh, because of that, because of the airline restrictions. Now, Southwest is pretty liberal, but we also fly Delta and American occasionally, so I, I wanted one that would work with all the airlines that we fly. Um, the wheel length counts and the length, so this is actually a good bit, probably two, three inches smaller than what I had before, um, but I think it'll still be much nicer to uh, be able to roll it while it's sort of straight up instead of having to lean it. I think I'm actually finished. Everything I can do until like the night before. Brian found out from his parents that you can actually order prescription eyeglasses. They come from China, but they're supposed to be good. His parents have been really happy with theirs and they're way, way cheaper because you got progressives, didn't you? One set's progressive and one set's sunglasses. Uh, I want to say the sunglasses were definitely more expensive, but two pairs for $95. Wow. I mean, that's pretty amazing. Frames and everything. So, yeah, wow. it's pretty cheap. <laughs> so, we'll let you know what he thinks about them. I wish I got his initial reaction to putting them on. Brian's been here going, wow, wow. <laughs> the, yeah, well, the prescription's like really good. My old sunglasses, all scratched up, really old prescription. These are like crystal clear. That's nice. <laughs> and here's his new computer glasses so these i didn't get these for looks this is like the frames are seven dollars <laughs> well i mean they look fine though and oh, he's really? yeah i think they look fine and he said these are sort of like progressives the bottom he can read stuff up close yeah, and then nice. the top is for computers so it's like while you're on the computer so that you can look down and read something and also look at the computer so i want to say the frames were seven dollars and the lenses on these were thirty dollars something like that wow so really that's amazing because yeah. the progressives that really i looked light. at which i didn't end up keeping but i looked at some they were a thousand dollars a thousand I mean, those are here in the U.S., not from China, but still. All right, that's pretty cool. That's really cool. Brian has already set up another game. We're not going to play it today, but maybe tomorrow. In his usual fashion, Brian packed in all of 10 minutes, of course. Good morning. It's Sunday morning, and I don't think we're going to do a lot today. I think it's going to be a pretty relaxing day. I was able, as you saw, to get pretty much the stuff I had to get done done. Um, I am going to film a quick channel update video today, which is why I'm up here in this room. Um, I will put it out. That, that's something I want to talk about was a schedule coming up. So since we're going to Disney, this video will come out the Monday we're at Disney. The next Monday, we will not have a weekly vlog because we'll have been at Disney for the whole week. So that Monday, I'm going to put out a channel update video instead at the same time slot, the Monday 2 p.m. time slot. So you will have content that day. It'll be a quick video with a little bit of an update. And then um, after that, we should go back to some form of either weekly or weekend trip vlog on Monday. Um, so just want to let you know about that. This is not new. Anytime we go on vacation, we have a lapse in the weekly vlog because we're on vacation. And um, today, I think I mentioned before, by the way, I know it's late, but happy Cinco de Mayo. And we were taking my parents out, but not for Mexican. We're going for Asian food for Mother's Day. Um, it was her choice. And actually, I'm kind of glad we're not going. I think all the Mexican restaurants would be really crazy today. And I'm not sure what else. We may play another tabletop game. Brian set one up, but I don't know. I'm not sure. So we're just winging it today. 
Hey guys, it's Monday. If you're wondering what happened to Sunday, a migraine happened. Um, fine now, but I had a horrible migraine all day yesterday. We had these weird rolling storms. I'm guessing that's what triggered it. I never really know. Um, but anyway, I'm back to my normal self today. Unfortunately, I didn't get to take my mom out yesterday. Didn't get to do anything. Didn't get to relax. Didn't get to play this tabletop game below me. <laughs> Didn't do anything yesterday. I was literally either in the bed asleep or on the couch what, trying to watch TV pretty unsuccessfully. Um, it's really hard for me to focus on anything when I've got one of those really, really bad migraines. So yesterday was kind of a wash. Today was pretty good um, for a work day. It's just work, nothing particularly special. And one of the things I wanted to say yesterday was <laughs> I'm going to sign off this week's vlog a little early because I need to edit it before we go to Disney. Um, I need to have time to edit because I've still got to do laundry, I've still got to pack, and I'm working this whole week, so I'm not gonna have, you know, like extra, we're not gonna be doing anything super exciting or fun, not gonna be batch cooking. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up, but I did definitely appreciate you guys watching. As always, we appreciate subscribes, likes, shares, and comments. Until our next adventure.